In 2010, Iwona Wieczorek was a 19-year-old girl who lived in Poland with her mother and stepfather. The young woman who had just finished high school was impatiently waiting for an answer about her admission to the university where she wanted to study. As a reward for all her effort during her years of study, Ivona had planned to travel to Spain on vacation, but unfortunately her plans and dreams were cut short one summer night. On Friday, July 16, 2010, Ivona and her friend Adria were invited to a party near where they lived. There they joined Pavel, Adrian and Marek, three boys whom Adria had known for a short time. They were supposed to stay all night at that party but the boys insisted on going to another very famous bar in Poland. When they had been in this place for a while, there was an argument between the whole group and because of this Ivona, who had already drunk a lot, left this bar alone, quite angry. At 3.15 a.m. the security cameras recorded the girl walking with her shoes in her hand in the direction of the promenade to try to get to her house. It is known that at that time the young woman had no money and was very tired so she decided to rest near the beach. During this time she sent a message to Adria to tell her that it didn't seem right for her that he hadn't gone with her. Ivona thought that saying this Adria was going to go after her, as a good friend so that she wouldn't go home alone, but it wasn't like that. All this is known because Ivona sent several text messages to other people saying that she had been angry with her friend for not having accompanied her. After this Ivona resumed her journey and at 4 a.m. she called Adria on the phone to reconcile with her. The young woman also told her that her phone's battery was running out and asked her if she could stay and sleep at home because she didn't want her mother to see her in that way. Adria told her that she could stay and since she was about to get home, she told her that she would leave the keys hidden outside so that she could enter. At 4.12 a.m. she sent a text message to her mother to tell her that she would stay to sleep at her friend's house. During this tour the security cameras recorded Ivona walking along the boulevard. They are the last images that exist of the young woman because from this point on no one else knew anything about her again. The next morning Adria saw that the keys to the house were still outside and that her friend had not gone to sleep. All this led her to think that maybe she had changed her mind and had gone home. But at 5 p.m. he received a call from Mother Ivona asking about her daughter because the woman thought she was at Adria's house. Upon learning that her daughter was not there, she panicked and reported her disappearance to the police. Unfortunately, the agents did not act right away arguing that the young woman was probably sleeping in the house of other friends or that she was still partying. It took a week for the police to start investigating the case, and as it could not be otherwise, both Ivona's family and friends were desperate because they had not heard from her for many days. The case had a lot of media coverage and thanks to this hundreds of volunteers came together to help in the search. Christopher Kowski, the detective in charge of the case, gave several press conferences stating that everyone was looking for Ivona and that they were not willing to give up. The agents thoroughly checked the security cameras that captured Ivona that night, and as you can see in one of them there is a man with a beach towel on his shoulder who walks behind the young woman. In fact it seems that he is following her. Because of this, they made a robot portrait in case someone could identify it. After all, he could be the last person who had seen the young woman alive and his testimony was of vital importance. However, despite the publication of his robot portrait in the photo, the unknown man was never identified. In 2014, Adria and the other three boys who were with her before her disappearance were interviewed on a television program. Everyone told the same thing about what happened that night, but none of them were able to say why they argued. This caused public opinion to point out to them for hiding information and for avoiding eye contact with the camera at all times. The agents handle the possibility that Ivona was kidnapped while walking to be used for human trafficking. Ivona's mother continues to go out in the media so that her daughter's case does not fall into oblivion and does not lose hope of seeing her daughter alive. Two suspects were finally arrested in December 2022, 12 years after their disappearance. These people are Pavel, one of the guys who was with her that night, and his girlfriend. Investigators had previously been to Pavau's home several times, as well as to the flats of his relatives. I have not found any announcements of an arrest directly related to Ivona's disappearance but for now, at least one of the men was charged with tampering with evidence. Due to the fact that he is said to enter Ivona's personal computer and erase some data and contacting some people while impersonating Ivona's mother. He was also, together with his partner, charged with an unrelated drug charge. Thanks for watching and do not forget to like comment share and subscribe.